Chapter 6, Lesson 2 is Numerical Expressions. Here in the warm-up, it says the table shows the cost of different snacks at a concession stand at the school hockey game. We want to write the expression that will give you the cost of each. So here, first of all, um, when you look at this, we have three things of popcorn, and popcorn costs $2. So how much is it going to cost altogether? Six dollars. Very good. So, in order for us to figure out what that six was, what did you have to do? Very good. We multiplied two for two dollars times three popcorns. That is my expression. Is everybody clear? That's what gave me the six dollars. So, how about for the hot dogs? How much does it cost for a hot dog? For four hot dogs, sixteen dollars. Very good. And what expression got me that sixteen dollars? Um, four times four. Four dollars times four hot dogs. Very good. Very good. Now it says find the total cost of buying three boxes of popcorn and four hot dogs. So here we can just. Add those together and we get 22. 22. Very good. Now, to write the expression, we would just add these two expressions together. So, to, for the total expression, we would have the cost of the three boxes of popcorn. So, that's going to be the $2 times three. We're writing the expression now, okay? So, it's two, $2 times the three popcorns plus the four dollars times the four hot dogs and that is what gives me the expression or that's the expression that gives me the twenty two dollars all right so here we want, I want you to write down the heading order of operations now I don't want you to write I don't want you to write this down because I have a different way I want you to write it down okay we have um, the order of operations, number one, is to simplify the expressions inside the grouping symbols like parentheses. Number two is to find the value of all the powers. Okay, powers are the exponents. Then we're going to multiply and divide in order from left to right, and we're going to add and subtract in order from left to right. So here, the special here the special way that I want to talk to you guys about this is, um, do you guys have a, a, a way to remember the order that you're supposed to do things in your expressions? Good. So yes, so it's the it's the PEMDAS. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Is everybody clear? So um, rather than um, rather than doing please excuse my dear Aunt Sally with a PEMDAS, because we have other grouping symbols other than parentheses, we're gonna call it GEMDAS. Okay, so it's, whoops, it's G, E, M, D, A, S. Okay, where the G stands for grouping symbols. Here, GEMDAS. The G stands for grouping symbols. The E stands for exponents. Good. The M stands for multiply. Very good. The D stands for divide. The A stands for add. Very good. And the S stands for subtract. Very good. Now, What's very important here is that um, the multiplication and division, with the multiplication and division here, you have to do from left to right. Okay? So when we multiply and divide, we have to go from left to right. When we add and subtract, we also have to go from left to right. So this is the order um, of operations, the GEMDAS. The grouping symbols, here you have, um, you have parentheses that are grouping symbols. Whoops. 
you have parentheses that are grouping symbols. You have brackets that are grouping symbols. You have um, the square root symbol is a grouping symbol. The uh, fraction bar, the fraction bar is a grouping symbol, okay? Once we do the, do the grouping symbol, then we uh, evaluate our exponents. Then we multiply and divide from left to right. And then we add and subtract from left to right. So here, a numerical expression like 3 times 2 plus 4 times 4 is a combination of numbers and operations. Please make sure you write down that definition. It's a combination of numbers and operations. Now, the order of operations, which we just talked about, tells you which operation to perform first so that everyone finds the same value for an expression. For example, here it says find the value of each expression. So here we have, for example, 1, 10 minus 2 plus 8. Here, there are no grouping symbols. There's no exponents. There's no multiplying or dividing. So here we have adding and subtracting, and we have to do that from left to right. So adding and subtracting from left to right means that we have to do the subtraction first. So we have 10 minus 2, which is 8. Then we write the rest of the problem. So that's 8 plus 8. And then 8 plus 8 is 16. So for example 2, we have 4 plus 3 times 5. Now on this one, multiplication comes first, right? Then we do the addition. So here, we're going to multiply 3 times 5 first. That gives me 4 plus 15. And then we add together and we get 19. So for got it, problem letter A. We have 10 plus 2 times 15. So the first thing we want to do according to our order of operations is the multiplication. Very good. So we're... Um, 2 times 15 is 30. 30. So what we write is, oops, is 10 plus 30, right? And then 10 plus 30 is equal to 40. 40. Now look at how I've shown my work, okay? You have an inverted triangle, okay? Now, that is the way I want you to show your work. When you show your work, you, when you are evaluating order of operation expressions, numerical expressions, you will not work horizontally. Is that clear? All right. So go ahead and do letter B, and then we'll do it together. Your final answer is 32. Because remember, you are doing multiplication and division from left to right. So if the division comes first, when you're looking at left to right, you do the division first. Is everybody clear? So now we're going to talk about parentheses and exponents. Please make sure you write down your heading. Parentheses and exponents. In this section, you don't have to write anything down in there unless you want to. Expressions inside grouping symbols, such as parentheses, are simplified first. Okay? Whatever the grouping symbols are, you do the grouping symbols first. We'll follow the order of operations inside the parentheses. For example, in the expression 3 plus the quantity of 4 squared plus 5, you will need to find the power of 4 squared first. You do the exponents that are inside the parentheses first. Does everybody see that? Okay? So here, in this, in this expression right here, we would do the 4 squared first, and then once we did that, then we would add the 16 plus the 5. When I say the quantity up, that means that the, that the things that are going to follow are going to be in parentheses. So here I said the quantity of 4 squared plus 5. So that quantity of means the next part is going to be in parentheses. So example 3 and 4, here it says find the value of each expression. So example 3 says 20 divided by 4 plus 17 times the quantity of 9 minus 6. So when we do this, when we evaluate this expression, we are first going to 
evaluate what's in the grouping symbols. So here, the first thing we're going to do is 9 minus 6. So 9 minus 6 is 3. Please notice that we also rewrote the entire rest of the problem. Is everybody clear? Okay, you need to make sure you write down the entire rest of the problem. So now we can evaluate this next line. So in this next uh, line, we have multiplication, division, and addition. What are we going to do first? We're going to do the division first. We're going to do the multiplication and division from left to right. Okay, so now um, on this example, I'm going to tell you that you can do this you can do the 20 divided by 4 and because they're completely separate you can do the 17 times 3 at the same time okay so you can actually just skip that line right there so so 20 divided by 4 gives me 5 and 17 times 3 gives me 51 and then we add that together and we get 56 Example 4, using our order of operations with 3 times 6 squared plus 4, the exponents go first. So 6 squared, remember 6 squared means 6 times 6, not 6 times 2, okay? So this is going to give us 3 times 36 plus 4. And now we need to evaluate the multiplication and then add. So 3 times 36 is 108 and then we add 4 to get 112. Alright, so for example 5, we have 5 plus the quantity 8 squared minus 2 times 2. You guys make sure you write this example in your notes. So here, the first thing we're going to do according to our GEMDAS is what? The grouping symbols. Very good. We want to do the grouping symbols first. So inside the grouping symbols, we have inside the grouping symbols, we have eight squared minus two. So what am I going to do first? The eight squared goes first, right? So that's going to be eight times eight, of course, not eight times two. So eight squared is uh, 64. sixty-four. Very good. So that's going to be, and remember, we rewrite the entire problem. So that's going to be 5 plus the quantity of 64 minus 2 times 2. Okay? And now we can do what's in the parentheses. So 64 minus 2 is 62. And now what am I going to do in this line? We're going to do the 62 times 2. two. Very good. So 62 times 2 is? 124. 124. Very good. And now we can add. So 5 plus 124 is? 129. For letter C, we have 25 times the quantity 5 minus 2 divided by 5 minus 12. So according to our order of operations, we're going to do the parentheses first. Very good. So we've got 25 times the 5 minus 2, which is 3, divided by 5 minus 2. I mean 12. Make sure you write down the entire rest of the problem. So now, what am I going to do for next? Very good. We have the 25 times 3, which is going to give me um, I'm sorry, 25 times 3 is 75. Now we're going to write the rest of the problem divided by 5 minus 12. And now 75 divided by 5 is 15. Very good. And then we're going to subtract 12, which gives us 3. Very good. And again, we are showing our work here. And there is our inverted triangle. You got it? So go ahead and do letter D, and then we'll do that. And then we'll uh, show you the solution. All right. So for letter D, we have 24 divided by the quantity of 2 
cubed plus 4. So, in the grouping symbol, that's the parentheses, we have to do the exponents first, right? So, 2 cubed is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. 8. So, here we have 24 divided by the quantity 8 plus 4. So now we can do what's in the parentheses. 8 plus 4 is 12. So now we have 24 divided by 12, which is 2. So example 6 says write an expression for the total cost of 5 lotions, 2 candles, and 4 lip balms. Okay? So here, this is just like what we did in the, in the warm-up, right? So here we have, let's see, 5 lotions. So there's five lotions cost five dollars. So that's what we're going to put here is five times the five dollars. Then we have two candles. How much is two candles? Seven dollars times two. And then we've got four lip balms. Two dollars times four. So each one of those separate multiplication problems get added together to get your total cost, right? So here we have 5 times, this is, we, oh, he, we rewrote this as 5 squared plus 2 times 7 plus 2 times 4. Did I have to write this as 5 squared? No, you could have just done 5 times 5 and you got 25. Then, as a matter of fact, we can actually skip all of these. Let me show you what we can skip. We can skip this line. You can skip this line. And you can skip this line. You can do all of those all at the same time. Okay? So 5 times 5 is 25. 2 times 7 is 14. And 4 times 2 is 8. And then you just add them all together. So 25 plus 14 plus 8 is equal to 47. 47 what? Dollars. Because this is a word problem, right? So Alexis and three friends are at the mall. Each person buys a pretzel for $4, sauce for $1, and a drink for $2. Write an expression for the total and find the total cost. So, here, how many friends are going? All right, so there are four people going. So, here, we're going to multiply um, the $4 times the four people, right? Okay, and we're going to multiply four dollars times, uh, this is four, the um, one dollar times the four people. You with me? Yeah. And for the drink, we're going to multiply two, times two dollars. Very good. So that's two dollars times the four people. So in each one of these, we need to add them together. Very good. So we end up with 16 plus 4 plus 8. Very good. So this is got 16 plus 4 is 20. Plus 8 is 28 what? Dollars. Very good. Now, there is another way that we can do this. So the other way that we could do this is that we could add up what everybody is buying, right? Because everybody's buying the same thing, right? So we could add 4 for the pretzel plus $1 for the sauce plus $2 for the drink. And then all of that we're going to multiply times 4. Is everybody clear? So here, this would be um, 4 times everything in this parentheses is going to be 4 plus 1 is 5, plus 2 is 7, and that will give me $28. Is everybody clear with that? No. 